What's up guys, John here with my beautiful wife Sharice. Hey guys, how are you guys? And uh, we are here in Tampa, Florida, actually Oldsmar, Florida, in the East Lake Woodlands Country Club. We're right here on the golf course. Um, it's really beautiful. And then we've got the setup right behind me going on with the Type Medical Center tent. And we're gonna get all that set up so people can sign up for our awesome newsletter. And they can get great giveaways like a free tank top or t-shirt plus a Type Medical Center bag, and then all the information about Type Medical Center, how we can make them feel good, look good, and perform their very best, right? Because that's what it's all about. But tonight, we are here for a great charity event. It's for Autism Speaks. Now, this is the Cars and Couture 12th Annual Collector's Gala, which is an awesome, awesome event put on by Donna Crowley, Lux Fashion Group, Type Medical Center's presenter, and the main sponsor, plus one of the main designers of the show. Ooh, can't wait for those fashions. Right? We've got some great, great surprises to hit the runway tonight. Plus, the songs go right along with it because you know the music makes everything, right? And you guys are going to be super, super impressed, I think. I hope so. And uh, we're going to blow it out of the water like usual. But we've got all these other designers that are involved with this, plus all these awesome cars. So I'm going to, you know, turn the camera around so you can just see some of the setup here. This is the pre-setup, yes. so this isn't the final result. It's always a pre-setup. But this is this is the definitely like the pre-setup of everybody getting everything ready. We're starting here in a couple hours. That's why we look like this. Yeah. We're gonna get suited and booted you guys and all. Will see us all, soon all dazzled out and cute. Yeah. So <laughs> it's gonna it's gonna be an amazing amazing event. And we couldn't bring the whole fleet tonight, um, but we do have the Lambo here and we have the C8 Corvette. Um, we've got the other Escalade limo, Titan limo out there to transport all the models because we haven't had a hotel getting ready because they can't get ready on the golf course, right? You know, girls need their mirrors, guys want to make sure they're freshened up, plus we're going to get some behind the scenes cool content that I know you guys are going to love. So, hang out with us, chill with us, see some of the behind the scenes, get ready with us, because it's going to be a spectacular event. Just you wait and see. Let's do it now. So follow us, we love you guys, stay tuned. Now we're on the way to go to the hotel. Um, set up for Titan Medical Center is complete. They're finishing things, every, everything else up here. So we're gonna get in there, roll over there, because I gotta get ready, Sharice gotta get ready, and we gotta make sure that all the other girls are ready. So we're in here, we've got beautiful Scarlett here, Sharice in here, hey. and Scarlett's already been dressed. She's, she's gonna walk for another designer tonight too as well. She looks fantastic, Hello. yes, Hello. as always. So uh, we're going to go over there and see what's up. And uh, you guys are going to get to see some really, really cool behind the scenes stuff. All right, so look at this. Got everything here. Now we're rolling in, going to the hotel room. Let's go upstairs and see what uh, is going on up there. All right, so let's go in here and see what's going on. Everybody okay? Hi. Everybody all... <laughs> what's going on over here? <laughs> Are you cold? Look at the crew in here. Look at everybody, man. Everybody's looking good. Drew sitting there like a king. Look at him. <laughs> Mativa, what's going on? How you doing? Nice to good. Nice to see you. Sarah, what's up, girl? How are you doing? Good. How are you? Melanie, are you really that cold? Come on. Oh, no, we're kind of like, we're about to take a nap. Oh, my God. Make sure you have a limp brush, because that shit will stick to that black. What up? Hi, honey. How are you? How you doing? Good. Nice to see you.
All right, guys, so this is more behind the scenes. It's something you guys probably wouldn't think that we're doing, that we're doing. So usually, like, before, like, you know, fashion shows or, like, shoots and stuff like that, people are like, don't eat anything. I want an empty stomach. I didn't eat, like, 12 hours before this. Well, this is kind of where diets are different. But this is pretty cool. So we got grilled chicken here. That's will be my favorite. And then you got Greek potatoes. Now, these Greek potatoes, I don't know if they're going to be good for the slimming effect, but they do taste really, really good. And this grilled chicken is actually pretty good. So I've done on this diet, I don't know how many times. Before when I couldn't uh, afford steaks or anything, I just used to order this, put it in tins, and I used to eat this three times a day. So it definitely, will, it'll, get, it'll get the job done, especially if you're trying to lose weight and stuff like that. Yeah, I gotta I got partake in this. I gotta partake. Oh, it's so good. Mm. And we're getting ready to go over to Carson Couture to show off all these awesome tight medical center fashions and rock it better than anybody else. Yeah. Straight up, let's go. Look who we got everybody in here. We brought the limo just in case, but I think we're gonna be good in here. Let's go, come on, let's get over there. All right.
What's up guys? How you guys doing tonight? Finishing up this night. And you know what? We had to come over and talk to Donna Crowley. So if you guys don't know who this beautiful lady is next to me, this is Donna Crowley at Lux Fashion Group and everybody else that helped put on this amazing event with us for Titan Medical Center and everybody else and benefiting Austin Street. So Donna, I know all the hard work and this is what, the 12th year, right? 12 years. Yeah. 12 years. Man, I know it's been a long time, long time, and it just keeps getting better and better. So, you know, that's awesome, true testament. But, right. you know, so in the future, what do you think is coming next? I think we're gonna change it up. I think next year we might do something really big, different location, great location. We're already we're already planning for it. We're already looking. That's we're right. Searching. So. That's I'm right. excited. <laughs> I'm I'm ready for that. I'm always up for change. Good. That's right. Making things bigger, better, and badder than before, and everybody's showing a good time, and doing it for a good reason, too, for charity. Autism Speak. So, it was a great night, Don. I want to show you some love. Thank you Thank so much. You. Thank you, guys. You guys are amazing. It's been yeah. so many years already. I mean, it's... I know. It goes by so fast. It does. It and goes by quicker. you guys don't ever age. It's like, you stay the same age. <laughs> you know, every it's, it's year. It's a tight line. You know, we cannot, we cannot even look like we age one yes, year no. every year that goes by. I'm going to see you guys soon because I, I don't want to age either. <laughs> I mean, Nobody does. So. Aging sucks. Yeah. Everybody wants to feel good, yeah. right? Yeah. Right. Titan Medical Center Therapies, so if you guys are looking for that, we guys can help you out. But you know what? We're going to wrap this event up tonight. We love you guys. My beautiful wife here, Sharice, rocked it hard tonight. A lot of hard work went in tonight, but we rocked it, killed it, and we always do. You always do. So come back. If you missed it this year, next year, you better start right now because you know what? It's going to be one hell of an event. I can promise you that. So we'll see you next year if you missed this one. And don't worry. We got it all on video for you. So you can just watch the whole video and get all the highlights of the night. <laughs> we love you guys, and we will see you next year for Cars and Couture. Thank you, Donna. Thank you. <laughs> What's up guys, John here. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. Awesome, good information that you guys can utilize. Honestly, whatever doesn't break you will make you stronger. That is the truth. What's up guys, I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. Another one. That's right, and another one, and another one. And another one, you. and another one, and another one, and another one. You know it, so every <laughs> Sunday, me and Sharice, my beautiful wife here, I bring you guys great tips, tricks, and things that will hopefully enhance, entice, and take your relationship to a whole nother level, and hopefully a good level, right? Um, and don't worry, guys, if you're single or not in a relationship, these will be great things to put in that tool belt for later on. So when you do meet, hopefully, that special person, you can utilize these things and really, really get you know, a lot out of these tips and tricks that we're gonna give you guys, or just some good information that you might, you know, just take in and make it yours however yeah. you want to, right? Because different relationships- Require different things. Definitely, 100%, right? <laughs> and, uh, you know, as we're talking about relationships, that's gonna be the topic of the day. All relationships take work, right? What do you mean? It's like, it's just like an, it's a part-time job though. It's only like 10 to two. Wait, what do you mean? I thought you can just be like, oh, I'm gonna be in a happy relationship and it's gonna be the best relationship at all, and poof, there it is. Yeah, it actually it does work that way. If you have a lantern. Yep, right? yep. You know, you rub it and a big genie comes out. And what, oh, yeah, for sure. The genie's <laughs> got it on point. <laughs> All right. So, yeah. So, you know, if you don't got the, the lantern and you don't got the genie, you're going to have to put in the work, right? <sighs> and um, this could be a whole bunch of different aspects. It really just depends on how you are as a person, what your partner's like, and really what kind of scenario you guys are in, right? But, you know the basic fundamentals and the work that you have to put in. Obviously, when you guys first meet each other, um, it's like the honeymoon phase. You know, everything's all good, all joyous. It should be, anyway. Um, you really don't know everything about each other, I don't think, right? You're starting to learn more and more about your partner. Unless you guys are like friends, like for years and years on end, and then you decide, oh, let's get in a relationship. Then you might know a little bit more about your partner, yep. some of their quirks, um, you know, Twerks. Pros, cons, whatever it is. Twerks, yeah, whatever it is, right? <laughs> I can help myself. You'll know more, more in depth about that person. But usually, um, you're meeting people for you know the first time, per se, and then you're getting to know that person. You guys start dating, and then you're going to, boom, get into a relationship, right? 
So when you're doing this, right, you're putting in the work, or you should be anyway. I don't know how this, the dating dating scene is nowadays. I'll never know, but I'll, I'll never know anymore. Hopefully, <laughs> uh, never again for sure. I don't want to get into that uh, craziness. <laughs> but you know, I mean, when you start right as a, as a guy, and things may have changed now, but usually you should court the girl, right? You're you're, you're taking her out on a date. You guys are doing something, whether it's dinner, movies, pup, pup, golf, you know, whatever it is, right? Whatever you want to take your, your girl to go do or a guy time. to go do, whatever it is. That's right. You're time. putting in the time. Putting in the time. You're spending time together. Yep. You're sharing experiences together, which is creating a bond between you guys, right? This is pretty easy stuff, or it should be anyway. Yeah. So once you're doing this, right, you're putting that time, you're putting that effort on both sides, it really should be coming. So at that point, you guys are really, you know, becoming together, you know, and that's when the relationship hopefully starts. And the relationship can start in a number of different ways, right? And it doesn't have to take a lot of time to start a relationship. It could be short. <laughs> with a couple weeks, or it might take a longer amount of time. It could take a couple months. Who knows? Sometimes I really, I mean, I really, I really think it's about how much time you put in. So, like when me and John first met, right? We're weird. So don't don't always go by exactly what we did because it's just it's we're just weird. So, anyways, when we first met, we literally spent every day. And let me take that back. We've spent every day together <laughs> since we've met. However, um, you know, in the first, and I had my own job. He had his own job. You know, we worked two separate jobs. Yep. Um, but we spent like literally every day together, like every night together. Yeah. We watched movies in bed. We talked. You know, mm -hmm. it was just like just bonding experiences every single day and night. Mm -hmm. It was every single day and night. And it wasn't even like... And it's not that it's not okay for guys to go out and have a good time with their friends or girls to go out and have a good time with their friends. But I do think, ultimately, and this is my, my opinion, is that if you're in a relationship, I would only guess that you would want to spend the time that you're not at work with your significant other, right? So, like, after work, you guys would do dinner and then, you know, maybe have some fun. Or at least, I would say, three, four nights out of the week, mm -hmm. maybe five nights out of the week, you guys are spending that time together. Mm -hmm. So, it's really weird to me anyway that, you know, sometimes I'm hearing about some of these relationships and you'll go, like three days without seeing your boyfriend or like, you know, and you're trying to build this relationship, but you're going like three or four days without seeing each other. Or there's not even like a good reason why either. It's just, oh, I'm at my place and she's at her place and it's whatever. But like, why are you go? Why don't you guys hang out at the same place yeah. after work yeah. and like talk? I mean, cause if you don't, if you don't start talking and get that time with each other, cause you can't, Nothing replaces time. Time is time, right? That's right. It's not, you can't get it back. Nope. You can't pay for it. Nope. You can't go buy it. You know, it's just, time is special. Yeah. So you got to spend that time in order to be able to really develop the relationship you're trying to, you know, trying to get. Yeah. It's the same thing with like a, a child, a dog, like anything, mm -hmm. any type of relationship with anyone, mm -hmm. you got to put the time in. That's right. You know, and then that's how you build. That's so, right. I mean, I think if you're in a relationship and you guys are dating, I really think you should be seeing each other more than like twice a week. You know, yeah. I mean, it, 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 especially, it, listen, if you got a job and you got to travel, you got to work, whatever it is, yeah, it's that's one thing, right. right? If you guys are in the general vicinity of the same town or city, let's you guys call are like three miles Tampa, away from each other, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, it's pretty normal. I mean, I would want, want to think that, and especially in the beginning, as you guys are getting to know each other and you guys are, you know, going towards being boyfriend and girlfriend and having a serious relationship. Um, then, yeah, you're going to probably want to spend majority of your time with that girl or guy, whatever it is. Um, you know, you want to. It's not forced on you. Right. They're not making you. Like, you genuinely want to, right? You're like, I got, I'm taking care of my work, right? I, maybe I go get my workout in, and then I'm going to spend time with my girl. Um, because I want to be there, right? I, I want to be by her. I want to be next to her, you know, get the loving in, whatever it may be. Mm -hmm. But you want to be by, you know, you know, the person that you're wanting to get in this relationship with. Um, when you don't spend that time together and you really start spending the majority of the time apart, then are you got you know, is, how's that going to go? Like, you know, do you guys keep growing together or do you guys maybe growing apart in some ways, yeah. circumstances? You know, that could happen, right? Um, it just, it's just really, it, I don't know, it, it's different. Everybody out there right now and when the dating scene is, I ask all my friends, kind of by curiously <laughs> through them, you know, how everything is out there? How's it going? Like, what are you guys going through? You know, so I can hear the inside scoop. 
And most of the guys are the exact same, right? That you know, if they're with a girl, they really like a girl, they start dating a girl, they start spending more time with the girl and less time with the friends and less time out, right? right. Because they're not looking for anything out, right? right. They're 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 adamantly like you know, wanting to hang out with their I, sister. I've got everything I need right now. Yeah. Okay. I don't need to go out to the bar. It's like fun to, to hang with out friends. with your significant other. Yeah, now, or don't get me wrong. You know, guys night out or guys like to go hang out with guys and talk about guy stuff. I totally <laughs> understand this, right? You know, because some things you're probably not going to be able to talk to your girlfriend about, especially in the beginning. You know, you don't want to embarrass yourself or you want to make yourself maybe look a certain way. I don't know. There's all different <laughs> types of things out there. So I understand maybe wanting to go out, blow some steam off with the guys. But, uh, you know, at that point, I don't think you need to, you know, to a certain extent. Now, all your guys might be running you through the bus or running you over saying, ah, 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 you're P-whooped, ah, 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 <laughs> You know, and then, and then you get that, right? You're giving that flack. And, when, you know, we'll ask him, like, you know, what about his girls? Now, you don't have one. That's how it is. Oh, 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 oh <laughs> you have no whoopings. And, you know, I mean, you know, those guys, you know, they might be able to get girls and no stuff like that. No whoopings for you. <laughs> but it's not achieving, like, true happiness, right? You know, right. anybody can go out, hook up. Right, and at that point, what's it worth? Even guys out there, I talk to them, right, and you know, just hooking up with a girl doesn't mean anything, right? It's like I hook up with a girl, so cool, and then after I'm done hooking up with the girl, like I'm like, all right, I'll get you an Uber, and you gotta go home. <laughs> so they don't really, really want to spend time with them, right? It's, it's just all about the physical touch and the love, and, and you're out the door. Yeah. But you know, when you find a mental connection as well as a physical connection, yeah. I think that draws you in more. I think you're going to be more enticed more. I think that everybody out there wants to find love or a significant other or partner. Um, majority of people, yeah, I have you know one of my friends, going to be 40 years old this July, <laughs> you know, has a baby <laughs> and hasn't like settled down. Like he never every, will. Every time he never. And I'm about will. to see him in a couple of days. Uh, he never every will. time, right? He'll be like, yeah, I'm like, oh, you know, this girl, and, blah. and then he'll get the girl, right? He'll get her, like, oh he's got her locked God. up, and then once he has her locked up, it's like, oh, challenge is over. What else can I do? I mean, I've literally had like Sharice was with me when we went up there. It was years ago, oh and he God. had a serious girlfriend. Was... Her name was Karen. I'll never forget. Her name was real Karen. nice, right? Her and name Karen, was Karen. Right? <laughs> it's real nice, real nice Karen. She wasn't one of the mean ones. Wow. And, uh, you know, she's literally, like, we get home. I took, we all went out to, like, a nightclub in Chicago. We stayed at my friend's house. We go back there, right, because, you know, he's having people or whatever. The girlfriend's like, ah, oh, I'm tired. He's like, all right, go to bed. So she goes to bed, right, and then what does he do? He gets on the phone. He calls up a couple girls, and he tells them to it. come over. Next, next, next remote. So we're literally out in the living in room. In the same apartment. When these other girls are coming over to see him, he's specifically trying to hook up with another one while he has his girlfriend Sleeping. In, in, in the other room and literally down the hallway. Now, obviously that's not right, right? I'm but, like, John, you are never hanging out with this man, ever. But it was kind of <laughs> funny because, I'm, I mean, not, not funny for the girls, <laughs> but it was just a funny situation. Like, the balls on this guy to be able to do this, you know, because I don't think I'd ever do that. That is good. But, you know, but, he's he's you pretty... Know, this is just this is just some of the funny stories and trust me i've got a ton more of these stories oh yeah they're great um you know and some with the same guy but uh you know it's just it's just funny so you know at that point some people might never be content um but i think there is somebody out there for everyone it's just you know you have to go through some of the trials garbage and, tri and, trials, trials, and tribulations trials and tribulations to you're gonna it. do it and you gotta keep keep with it and that's the next thing when you find the treasure don't treat it like garbage and trash and like everything else that you find on the street, right? That's when you really got to put in the work. And that's when you really want to, you know, make yourself vulnerable to a certain extent, open up to that person. As long as everything's going well, right? That's not something you do in the first date. But as you're working and you're spending more time together, you're learning more about that person. Mm -hmm. And they're learning more about you. And that's bringing you guys closer together. And it doesn't end there because once you get in the relationship, listen, now you guys are, you know, getting to the serious part. And you might be moving in together and talking about it just engagement. Keeps, it keeps going. Even babies. when you're past the baby and the marriage and all that, you get to a 10-year mark, right? Yeah. And we're past the 10-year mark. And then you're like, okay, so what do we do to make sure that we, you know, keep each other happy? You know, what do we do to make sure that everybody's still content and they're 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 liking the relationship still, you know. And it's pretty easy to do. Just go back to the first steps of what you did in the relationship to mm -hmm. begin with. Yep. You were all about it. You were courting her. You were taking her out. You might have been buying her some roses here or there. Whatever it may be, go back to that point. Don't become complacent 
I'm like, oh, whatever. I, you know, she's cool. You know, I already got her. It is what it is. You know, I'm, I'm concentrating on this or that. Or even take the minute, like, you know, me and John are busy. We went, I, honestly, I think I might be one of the most busiest people on the planet outside of the president of the United States. And even so, I am definitely, uh, I'm, I'm definitely busier than the president of the United States. I, you have to take that moment, too, when you've been, like, in a relationship for X period of time. And I, you, it could be a year. It could be two years, three years, four years, five years, ten years, twenty years, whatever it is. And recognize that, oh, shoot, we haven't spent, like, any time together in, like, two, three weeks. You know, because it's just get up, work, go to sleep, get Baby, up, work, whatever, go to sleep, baseball. Kids. Now it's, like, literally, it's sleep, work, baseball, sleep, work, baseball, 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 then more work, 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 and then some sleep, then baseball. Yeah. All I see is baseballs in my dreams, okay? It is. So it's okay. As long as my son turns out to be an MLB player, we're good. So I, I, I'm willing to sacrifice. However, it, it does intervene with our personal time. Okay. So you have to take a moment to be like, wait a minute. We haven't spent any time together. We need to go to like, we need to go to like a movie or like we need to go to dinner, right. you know, or do something. Right. It takes what, an hour or two, two hours out of your day to go yep. do something and yep. recognize that it's like, oh shoot, this has been happening. And you don't go the whole year and be like, oh shoot, we haven't seen each other for a whole year. We're just busy. Yeah. And that, that puts strain on the relationship too, trust me. Um, so that, that's just some tips and tricks for you guys. Yeah, that's lots of tips and tricks. Keep working on your relationship. Don't ever stop. Right? Yeah. It's a full-time gig, just like anything else you're going to do. you got to put in the work. What you put in is what you get out. True. All right? So that's just some great advice from me and my beautiful wife here, Sharice. So, guys, we'll see you guys next Sunday, ABC, 11 a.m. If you missed the live show, DVR it. If not, go to YouTube. Type in Type Medical Center, hit the subscribe button and the all Ding. notification bell, Ding. and you'll get all these great episodes and a lot more cool content <laughs> with me, Sharice, the Titan Nets, the Titan crew, and all the therapies we offer. So I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we'll see you next week for another Cupid's Corner. See you then. Bye.